How's it going, everybody? This is 2019 Bowman Baseball. It's our first case of the day. This is Picker Team number one, full case of hobby. Here is the list. Who's everyone's got? So good luck. Um, last spot mojo went out to Mark Glassman with the Toronto Blue Jays. So here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's head over to the breaking screen. And this is a hobby, of course, full case, 12 boxes, one autograph per box. Let me actually, this camera is for later today. There we go. All right, good luck everybody. I was just saying off air, a lot of my best pulls have been from uh, have been from Bowman, so hopefully we see a uh, super fractive first case. Alright, all twelve boxes there. Good luck. Here we go. And I'll open the packs for each box at once just so we create a nice little flow and I will be doing recap videos at least for this one and I'll tell Joe to do some some recap videos for his too because I know some people can't um, always watch live so it's nice nice to have that Good luck. And yeah, I, did, I have seen some breaks today. The car design, I think, is pretty pretty sharp this year. I like it a lot. Um, there's some nice stuff I've been seeing. So, packs rip nice and easy this year, too. And yeah, I think jumbos will be probably 20, 30 minutes quicker just because less packs. But the hobby is filled with some nice non-autographed color stuff. So we, I like both editions. And I think my best pulls have been from the hobby edition. So I don't know if that's just been <clears throat> luck or what. Remember, all the Chrome rookies, inserts, refractors, all that will ship. All the Chrome prospects. And then no um, veteran Chrome cards. And then none of the paper, of course, ships. So so if you don't get a hit autograph, you should be getting some nice Chrome prospects. And, I mean, get a guy like Vlad Guerrero. It's going to sell pretty well. All right, here we go. There's a Tatis. There's some inserts there. There's a refractor right there, just a Sheffield. Those will all ship, of course. All right, looks like our first card is Shane Bass. The Atomic, those are not numbered. Shane Bass still goes to the Rays. Top 100, Cole Wynn. Got a Vlad Guerrero ready for the show. Insert. Nice one there for Toronto. He is ready for the show. When are they going to call him up? I saw him launch a home run in AAA the other night. 
There's a uh, triple card there for Cleveland. There's a Luis Urias. There's Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. Wander Franco, top 100 insert, Tampa Bay Rays. There's a Nolan Jones, 9 out of 25. Orange for Minnesota, John Booth. Sorry, not Minnesota, Cleveland. Not sure why I said Minnesota. Brock has the Indians. Not sure why I saw Minnesota. I guess the colors. There's a Casey Mize. I know that one's Detroit. There's a number uh, 499 refractor right there of Derion Cruz. That's Atlanta Braves. I like how they numbered the cards on the front this year, too. Um, no, no paper cards will be shipping. But all the Chrome cards. So even if it's not a rookie like Blair Alexander, that'll, of course, ship. All the prospects will. We got Aloy Jimenez ready for the show. Factor for the Yankees, Estevian Florial. We got Triple Orioles, Hall, Mount Catswell, and Stewart. Jonathan India for the Reds. There's a Vlad Guerrero insert, and the first autograph is numbered to 299. It's a Sparkles autograph. It is Jose Suarez. Nice. Los Angeles Angels, that's going out to Paul Whitlock. Um, what's up, Brian? I just put the uh, the Jays in a spot running for number two. Um, if you uh, if you buy all ten spots, I'll uh, I can just send over a refund for the difference. So it's it'd be like fifty dollar difference if you wanted if you wanted to do that forty five maybe. <clears throat> I'm not sure if any spots have been taken though, but I think there are also available number three and four too. So we also have them, and I think they're available in jumbo too. Also, there's a Brendan McKay. In base. Yeah, well, that and, I mean, we'd love to, but um, the cost on shipping would be also very high, too. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah, we're shipping base, but we're also going out of business next month. <laughs> no problem, Ryan. It's all good. I'm a good multitasker. 
if I say so myself. It's not good at a lot of other things, so. But yeah, we donate all of the all of the base cards. We don't ship in in all of our breaks too. Um, and yeah, we actually had a teacher contact us who buys from us, Mark, um, in the chat, and he uh, he was handing them out to a lot of the kids in his class. So that was awesome to see. Is that gonna be it today? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's it. I don't think that's kind of cheap. What's up, Dave? How's it going? How is it going? Are you in this break, Dave? This is hobby break one. Hobby break one. Might, maybe you're in Jumbo. last pack is always, always tough to rip but yeah definitely excited happy bowman day everybody thanks for joining thought i'd hop on knock out a case before joe gets here and uh the madness continues and i will be doing an autograph and, and numbered card recap at the end too there glaber taurus There's number 499 paper. All of those numbered paper cards will ship, of course. That's Reggie Lawson for the Padres. There is William Contreras for the Braves, Atomic. There's Matthew Libatori. Fernando Tatis wrote to the show. Oh, nice. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, I got a spot random up there for the uh, the Blue Jays in that break. And I think that sells it out. That, uh, that spot randomizer. Talent pipeline right there for the Kansas City Royals. And, of course, the shipping team will also be sorting all these two to uh, make sure I didn't miss anything. But I'm pretty good at... At, uh... At catching any numbered cards, but like I guess I'd be fine. Chance Adams, look at you here. There's Bo Bichette, Blue Jays. Aloy Jimenez for the White Sox. He's been playing pretty well too, right? I don't. I think his average is kind of low, but I think I saw some nice, nice plays from him for the White Sox. Can't believe the White Sox didn't land Harper and Machado. I thought for sure they'd get one of them. Wander Franco. There's a blue Seth Beer. That's for the Astros, number 150. There's a Will Smith. And the autograph should be in here somewhere. One auto per box in the hobby. 
There's Carter Kaboom, I believe. Padres Talent Pipeline. Sorry if there's just kind of a glare, but I'll be sure to show any of the, the numbered cards off. There's a blue autograph for the White Sox. Number 150, that is Steel Walker. Chicago White Sox, Rick Gipp. Gets the Steel Walker. Blue Refractor Auto number 150. So that should be it for box two. Next one. But yeah, I dig the card design this year a lot. I think last year, maybe. This one, the only problem is this one is I don't know how Beckett will do centering since the border is only on one side then the photo goes over the border. I guess that's why I'm not a grader. But I kind of I kind of dig that kind of futuristic look. And the checklist is pretty stacked, too. They have a lot of prospects. Maybe it's not their first Bowman card, but still go for a lot. You got, like, Guerrero in there, of course, Tatis, Jimenez, and all those guys. So some pretty nice stuff. So yeah, this is the first case, Hobby Picker Team 1. Of course, we have more Jumbo and Hobby in the store. We also have a Jumbo Random Teams too. So if you weren't, if your team was gone, maybe you can chase them in that four box half case of Jumbo. So you can chase like the Rays, the Blue Jays, the White Sox, the Padres, the Giants, all those big teams in there. Yeah, the quicker we uh, quick we do it, I can help Joe Packsack and we can get through a lot tonight. So definitely, uh, definitely get your spots now. Brandon Lowe, and we also have Flaws Football that's in the store, f releasing Friday. Just got that posted tonight. Some base. There's Brandon Rogers. There's number 25, 23 out of 25, Luis Arias for the Padres. San Diego Padres, Mark Matheson. 
Hey, yo, Mark, I was just talking about you. There is an Ethan Hankins for the Indians Atomic. Victor Robles. <clears throat> There's my favorite name, Victor Victor Mesa. Just awesome. Brady Singer. There's Victor Mesa Jr., not to be confused with Victor Victor Mesa. There's number 499, Jesus Sanchez for the race. Refractor. There's a Nick Madrigal insert there for Chicago White Sox. There's an Atomic number 150 for the White Sox, Dylan Seas. That one's numbered 85 out of 150 in the top right there. There's a Tuki Tu Saint. Austin Riley insert, Braves. There's Gorman for the Cardinals. Senzel and once again the autograph hiding in the lower part here must be the way I'm taking out the packs we got number 100 for the Giants Chris Shaw rookie autograph atomic refractor love the atomics 21 out of 100 so there you go Giants Darren on the board I, uh, I dig those atomic autos for sure. Friday there. There's number 125, Jojo Romero, Phillies. And that is it for that box. Just leave these and I will be doing a numbered card, also a autograph recap. In a separate video, so if you didn't want to watch the whole video, you had to step out. I thought it was too. I saw the Giants, but then I saw, I saw the seed looking autographed. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, I have the feeling I have the feeling we're gonna get a super fractor tonight, one way or another. I don't know what team or what configuration, jumbo or hobby, but I got that feeling. One day I swear I dreamt the night before, I pulled that Carlos Rodon Super Fractor auto I pulled four, three, four years ago. I swear I dreamt pulling it the night before. It was like a... I like manifested it. It was crazy. And I don't usually believe in that kind of stuff either. But we're also in Tokyo, so maybe it was just jet lag.
Really? Left and right? Yeah, where's where's our super factor? Alright, we're only a few boxes in though. Can't get too impatient. Gotta stay the course, I guess. Alright, good luck next box. Yeah, Joe will be coming in. He'll probably be here in about 20, 30 minutes, I would guess. So we'll be right about the last couple boxes when he gets here. So start filling up the next one. Peter Lambert, 38 out of 125 Rockies. Like those 30th anniversaries a lot. Look at that. Kyle Tucker. This is Joey Bart Chrome. There's Peter Alonzo. And there is for the Orioles, Ryan McKenna. Base autograph there, Baltimore, Eric. There's Kyle Wright. Brett Honeywell. We got a gold coming up. Gold for the Dodgers. That is 23 out of 50. Will Smith. That is going out to Peter K. With the Dodgers. First round pick there, nice. Got a Sterling insert of Chris Bryant. Got a purple paper, number 250, Joe Waddell, nice. For the Angels. That's Paul. What's up, Mark? Um, I think this is, what, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. This is box five, four. Box four, I think. I can never do math right. Um, and I, I'll be doing a an autograph and and hit recap <clears throat> in a uh, a separate video as well. Rizzo. Nothing crazy yet. Number 499, Bryce Wilson. We've had a few numbered cards or numbered autographs. Um, no huge names yet, though. But some nice stuff. Jordan Alvarez. That's a nice one. Atomic. It's a. Uh, I liked it. I like the design a lot. All the autographs look pretty clean, so looks nice so far. And there is Diaz for the Orioles.
right. I know he's he's pretty good. As an Angel fan, not huge on him. <laughs> Especially the Astros in general, just being a, a dynasty, but it's pretty good. And they got Kyle Tucker in the pipeline. I mean they're uh they're pretty nasty. Speaking of Astros, Dallas Keiko, why isn't he signed yet? Is he asking for too much money or something? Him, Craig Kimbrell, still for agents. Which is wild to me. Um, yeah, I think they're answering emails. Okay, yeah, none, no uh, paper base cards, or no paper card ship. Um, the cards that ship are all the Chrome cards. So all the Chrome rookies, all the Chrome prospects, all the Chrome inserts. Um, the rest all get donated. We don't sell anything or else like that. Um, the rest get donated. So, so I mean, we're not sorting the paper base. So, what's up? Hello. How's it going with that? Pretty good. I think we got a red coming up. Some type of red. Maybe an orange. Let's see what we got. All right, the first one is number to twenty-five. That is Aramis Aiden. Should have came in at a seven in the morning. Number twenty-five. I know. Oh, what happened to the table? Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I'm gonna pack stack later. That's for the Cubs, number twenty-five. I kind of like it. Yeah, that's cool. Like this is better. Yeah. Although the TV's not set up, so he's going to be. Uh -huh. Oh, what are my MLB bets doing? <laughs> um, that's what he's going to be saying. For the Twins there, insert. Blue paper to four ninety nine. Anthony Siegler. So I've been trying to do it. Daz Cameron at 299. I like those shimmers a lot, yeah. I know, I was, I was kind of messed about like splitting like that, but I'm like, I guess I'll do it. Right yeah, <laughs> you don't like, have to do it for I you. I was like, I, I like doing that though. Yeah. It, it takes some more time, but yeah. It's easier. Once you get the hang of it. But these aren't really in a the pattern. There's Juan Soto. Oh. They're kind of all over yeah, the place. Yeah, this year they don't have like a border on one side now. Yeah, so that's what I was saying looks, about like centering. Kind of, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the center. But I think it kind of looks cool. Yeah. I like these types of ones. Yeah, it's, it's like nice. Yeah, see, I don't know how they'll grade centering, but we'll see, I guess. Are the blue chips the biggest team getting it? Yeah, right? Uh, or Tampa Rays, Rays sorry, the yeah. Rays the Rays are big. Giants, Blue Jays, White Sox, Padres. There's a lot of pretty good teams in here. There is a very nice number 499, Brady Singer. That's a nice one to get. Kansas City, 
Stacy. Nice Brady Singer Refractor Auto 215 out of 499. 18th overall pick. Very nice. I think the Royals are still left in uh, a couple of our breaks. There's Brennan McKay. There's number to 499, Kyle Freeland, Colorado. There's an Atomic Christian Javier for the Astros. That should be it. There's another Alvarez insert. That should be it for that box. On to the next. Once we're done with this next box, we'll be halfway through. box so jumbo picker team one was the next closest to sell and I think we just had the blue jays to sell two left sorry jumbo coming up next already sold out looks like so that'll be coming up next Joe will be doing that case I'll help pack stack um, then we got hobby cases two and three both at four left we have jumbo case two down to five left so the uh, obviously the, the faster we sell out this uh, this Bowman longer we'll have time to do some of the other breaks on the site um, as well as more Bowman so if you're in like Bowman's like five or six <clears throat> or maybe the random teams and you, you want to see those tonight um, Try, uh, try hopping in on on some of the bigger teams. I mean, there's teams that are only $12.99, $16.99, so there's some, definitely some cheap teams. That is how it's super fractured, but I don't think it is. Yeah. I think it's a gold. I haven't seen one yet, so I don't know how like, shiny. shiny they are. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's not like the 2015 Top Gun football. That was wild. But it would be impossible to miss in this one. Uh, yeah. yeah, Darren said earlier that they're popping up left and right and break. So hopefully we got some in our cases. That's a jumbo. I can do that for jumbo. Yeah, it's hard though. It's really crazy. I like it opening better like this. Yeah, I like it like that too, but it's just like they're like. Yeah, they are quite. Yeah. And then they have the the super jumbo one where they're connected together. Oh yeah, that's right. How the two. Yeah, it, that sounds hard. You have to go like. <laughs> it's like a, this long thing. All right, good luck, everybody. What's up, Dave? How's it going? There's a Kershaw. This is uh, Picker Team number one, everybody, just joining us. Jumbo case number one is sold out. That's coming up next with Joe. 
There's an Atomic, Anthony K. There's a Mets triple insert there. So I do see a gold in this in this pile here. Maybe it's an autograph. I can see it in there. Yeah. Maybe a gold shimmer. There's a gold paper. One out of fifty. Mitch Keller. Pirates. Gold paper. Jared Klonick. Not autographed, damn. Medina. Number 75, Adon, Adonis Medina for the Phillies. 72 out of 75. Let's go out to John's. This is what one autograph for Bucks? Yeah, in the hobby. And it keeps coming in the same, the same place, yeah. It's the same pack every time, I think. So if you're buying packs, I would suggest <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the thing. shuffling like, it up. Like breakers can give uh, pretty much the yeah. knowledge of like, what pack to buy. Yeah. I remember World Cup Soccer, they had it on the sticker. Oh. You know, like, they would know what the case it is. Uh -huh. And we didn't know at the time, so people were asking for the stickers. I was like, I guess. I'll <laughs> give it to you. Remember with the gold packs, too? We'd be like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stickers yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> like it's an auto. Yeah. There's the autograph. It is Gabriel Cancel. Kansas City. Another one for Stacy. There was a crazy name I seen today. Victor Victor Mesa? No, no, not that one. No, it's another one. It's uh, and then there's Victor Mesa. <laughs> there's a Victor Victor Mesa? Yeah, there's a Victor Mesa on the Marlins. Victor Mesa Jr., I think it is. And then there's Victor Victor Mesa for the <laughs> no. Marlins. What's up, big boys? No, that was his name. I gotta figure it out. All right. Halfway through, box number seven coming up. Yeah, I'll be pack stacking for the next few hours for Joe, just so we can get through a lot of this. Hopefully we uh, sell out the bum we have on the site tonight and tomorrow. And then we have a big shipment of Flawless coming in. Got 10 cases posted on the website, so check it out. We'll have a lot of that Friday. I'm sure I'll be going live early on that day also. We'll have... Uh, breaks sold out what up? hey oh there it is for the twins Andrew Bechtold <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled G-E-C-H and then told and then there's a there's like a filled beer in here oh, yeah. like beer yeah there's a Brock Death Rage. Death, Death Rage. That's funny. Yeah, that's 
tables all the way over there now? Yeah, I was gonna. I'm gonna pack stack. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stand over there. I thought this was another remodel. No. Next box. Flag we're out top one hundred. Got a green shimmer number one twenty five. That is Victor Mesa Jr. Victor Victor? Victor Mesa Jr. Oh, it's Victor Mesa Jr. They're both on the same team too. The TV's not plugged oh, in. Oh no. Senzel top 100 I'm pretty good actually I do have like arthritis but I don't think it's from pack ripping maybe it is it actually doesn't bother my hands much we were doing I mean we'd done 20 casers in the back in the day so I've been accustomed to it All right, we have a purple refractor auto number 250. That is Ryan McKenna. 180 out of 250. A lot of numbered autographs in this uh, case so far. Yeah, there you go, EA, right when you, you walk in, bam. Yeah, I do have a pretty, pretty solid track record with Bowman too, I think. You know how they do like the home run per at bat? I think my super fractor per break would be <laughs> top of the list. Pretty solid. I don't think I've ever pulled a super fractor autograph out of here. Do you, I yeah, you have. Pulled. You have before. An Just, autograph? Yeah. Oh. Keybert Ruiz, number 250. I remember you hit Devin Travis, rookie auto. Bowman. Blue Jays. Um, this one goes to Dodgers, Ruiz, number 250. Yeah, but you you pulled like Carlos Rodon. Yeah, and Chris Bryant. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty I mean, pretty solid. Where's Devin Trout now? Yeah, I don't know. I think you've pulled another one too. I think you pulled some German player too, Joe Adele. Did I pull some Brazilian kid from the Blue Jays? Was that it? Devin Travis. Yes. I don't know. I thought it was like Paulinho or something like that. It was some like yeah, a maybe pulled that too. Fifteen-year-old Brazilian kid who was in like in the Blue Jays. Or <laughs> now he's probably like nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> we got number two fifty, Ryan O'Hearn, Kansas City. Got an Atomic, Aloy Jimenez, nice for the White Sox. Those are one per box. That's Garcia. So the next uh, Bowman Jumbo sold out. We'll do that spot random right after this, and then we'll uh, do that break. 
yeah, I got the camera set up over there too now. So we got the uh, we got the pack stacking station set up. I think ten cases. That that's the number we should do. Ten cases. Pick your teams. One, two, three, four, five. Hobby. Pick your teams. One, two, three, four, five. Jumbo. Maybe maybe a random team. Next box. Got a pipeline right there. Insert for the rays. Autograph. Another autograph of Chris Shaw. Second one in this case. Darren. Would have liked to have two Joey Bards, but Chris Shaw. Hey, it hits a hit, right? His autograph looks like Christian Yelich is there. Who Christian Yelich? I guess he's I guess he's the best baseball player ever lived, apparently. Got like 12 home runs to start off the year. All right, Atomic Shohei Otani, 13 out of 150. <clears throat> For the Angels, that's Paul. We got number 499, Dylan Cease. Former Cub, now he's a White Sox. I think he was in that Jose Quintana deal. Which did not work out for the Cubs. There's Brendan Rodgers. They also got rid of Aloy Jimenez, that deal too, I think. So, not a great, great trade by Theo Epstein. But I feel like Cubs, they won that World Series. They're kind of... They get like a, another hundred years to mess around. There's a pipeline. There's Aaron Judge, 30th anniversary.
There's a Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Got a purple paper, number 250. That is Sean Murphy for the Oakland Athletics. Atomic Jose de la Cruz. And that should be it for that box. So we're down to four left now. And I'll, I'll do a, a recap once this uh, this breaks over of the, the numbered cards and the autographs. So just quick two, three minute recap. For this one, in case you missed some of it, all right. Next one. Uh, Flawless comes out Friday. Usually any big release like that, pretty much every release, is either Wednesdays or Fridays. So yeah, that that comes out Friday. And yeah, we have 10, 10 total cases posted. So we got eight picker teams and then a couple random hits. And like I said, maybe do it uh, a random player or something like that as well. Um, post that tomorrow maybe just have to see if we have any more cases other than the ones on the site so be sure to lock up your team if it's still up there for that flawless as well as Bowman too because once we finish the Bowman that's on the site now the rest will be at a higher price so sure to jump in and that goes for random teams too but yeah hopefully Bowman we're pretty much done with come Friday hopefully we knock most of it out tonight and tomorrow that way Friday we have a a clear path for flawless football and I'm I'll probably go live early that that Friday too like I did today knock out a break if it's sold out just so we can do a, an extra one towards the end of the night. Austin Beck, Atomic. There's a ready for the show, Nick Senzel. Nice. Three out of 25, Mike Trout for the Angels. Nice insert there. Paul with the Halos. Already back from his injury. So I think uh, I think Mike Trout, if he stays healthy, he has a chance to break the all time walk record. Maybe beat Barry Bonds, I think, who has it. All time walk record? For a season, yeah. I think he, he might beat Barry it. Bonds have? And this isn't like I haven't checked it or anything. Every time I watch an Angels game, he's getting walked three times a game. 
Whoa. Which also might cause his average to, to either dip or be really high. If he's going like one for two, three walks and a hit. It's got to be Barry Bonds who has it, though, unless, unless I'm missing a, a player back. It's got to be Barry Bonds. Single season walk record? Yeah. He must have like so. 170 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Number to 499, Ryan Costello, Twins. Julio Pablo Martinez. Yeah, having a pipeline of breakers, that'd be nice. Top prospect and stuff, that'd be pretty cool. To 150, Jordan Adams for the Angels. Blue. Wow. It's a lot more than that. 300. He has 232 walks in 2004. I think Trout can beat it. That is crazy. He has the top three records, by the way. Yeah, that's what I think. Bonds has 232. Like, like in an 06 and stuff. 198 in 2002, 177 in 2001. Wow. That's insane. What years was what year did he break the record? 2006? 2004. Really? Yeah. It's been that long? Mm -hmm. Wow. I would have guessed like 2006, maybe 2007. The active, the next active player that's on this all time walks list in a single season, Joey Votto at 27 mm. with 143. Wow, so that's what, 90 difference? I think Trout's got to have at least 20 by now. Maybe less. Well, yeah, Barry B plus he was smashing like 70 home runs a year, so <clears throat> pitchers were like, yeah, we'll walk him. He was, All right. he was 39 years old that year. Reggie Lawson, autograph. So he broke the home run record in 10-4, too? I would assume uh, that I don't know. Reggie Lawson. Padres, that's going out to Mark. Here you go, Mark. Yeah, Barry Bonds was pretty good. And, I mean, he was good enough that he didn't have to take steroids. So that's... That's the kind of upsetting part about it. Yeah, that's true. If he didn't take steroids, he'd still be pretty good. It's like Ken Griffey Jr. He never took steroids, but if he did, he would have been Barry Bonds level. Right. He wouldn't have gotten injured a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Mariners. Imagine that That 2001 Mariners team. That's got to be one of the best teams in the regular season to never do anything in the playoffs. Because Lightning, Tampa Bay Lightning, they got swept. Didn't they have, like, one of the highest point totals ever for hockey? Yeah. Yeah, they did. So. And they got dusted. The 2000, I think it was 2001 Mariners. Didn't they have 110 wins? No, they had, like, 116 wins. 116 like that. wins. That squad was so like awesome. 20, 20 or 30, 30 to 1 odds for the... Blue Jackets to sweep and nobody took at least one bet. Yeah, that's crazy. I nobody took like twenty bucks. So I, nobody I think it was like if you had parlayed oh. the if you had parlayed the them to win each four games, it would have paid out like fifty five to one, yeah. which is crazy. Oh. Which is like, I mean, if I was a Blue Jackets fan, I would put like twenty thirty bucks down. Like, why not? No, so if people Blue Jackets fan put like ten bucks, twenty bucks, on them, anything would happen. So you bet twenty dollars on them to win the first game, then you roll it over to the second game, third game, and then this fourth the game. First time they ever won a playoff game. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, 2001 Mariners had 116 wins. That squad was awesome. Jay Buhner, right? Ichiro, Griffey. I think uh, Randy Johnson was on that team. Your catcher was Dan Wilson. Jamie Moyer. John Oliver was on that team. Oh, Oliver was beast. 21 home runs, 95 RBI. Brett Boone was at second. He's awesome. Hit 331, 37 homers, 141 RBI. Carlos Guillen played shortstop. David Bell was on that team. Al Martin played left. Mike Cameron 
Oh man, remember how good Mike Cannon was? He was, he was really good too, yeah. Ichiro was in right hit 350. No, no big Ichiro deal. Ichiro was a stud. And Edgar Martinez on that team too. I forgot Edgar. I forgot. Ed Edgar Imagine if they had A Rod too on that team. That would have been crazy. Know, that would be crazy. Who are some other good role players here? I think Mark, Jay, Mark Jay Buner, Buner, right? Jay Buner was there. He only played 19 games, though. He must have gotten injured. 30, yeah, I guess. 36. Maybe. Yeah, it was the end of his career. Yeah, Mike Cameron, he had a good. Career for the Padres, too, right? 24 year old Freddie Garcia won 18 games that year. Didn't Jamie Moyer have a really good year, too? Jamie Moyer won 20 games. So, 20, 20 games. He, he was 38. <laughs> Aaron he... Teeley won 15 games. Paul Abbott won 17 games. John Halama won 10 games. Joe retired. He, uh, he pulled a Magic Johnson. He quit without even telling us. Number to 50, Steven Duggar. Gold paper. Sasaki had 45 saves that year. I don't remember that guy. Oh, he was a stud closer. He was unstoppable. Oh, okay, I remember this guy. I think he had a funny delivery, too. Sidearm, kind of, I think. He only played four years in Major League Baseball. 37 was, saves rookie year, 45, 37, 10, and then he was out. That whole team was just amazing. Then they got, like, swept, I think. All right, Gold Shimmer coming up. It is AJ Puck, 10 out of 50. They, they won the ALDS 3-2 over Cleveland. AJ Puck definitely looks like a character on Game of Thrones. That hair, look at that. <laughs> definitely could be a Game of Thrones character. And then, yeah, then they... It's all good, Ryan. Joe said my name is Joe. Man. That'd be f kind of funny. Two breakers named Joe. Yankees won game one and two. Mariners won game three. And then Yankees won games four and five in the ALCS in 2001. And that was it. Dunzos. Done. Yeah, that's that's got to be the most wins and, and not win a championship. But I think it's like if you break one of those records I heard today, if you break one of the, like, the single season win records, those teams have never won a championship. In Warriors. any sport. I think the Warriors lost that year, right? Yeah, the Warriors blew the 3 1 lead that year. The, the Lightning this year. There's Joe Adele, the 499. <clears throat> the Mariners back 2001. Yeah, the Warriors won like that. Yeah, that 71 games or something crazy like that. Yeah, 73 games. 73. Yeah. And then... They were 73 and 9, I think. Yeah, there's Kyle Tucker. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Jason, we do have a breaker named Jason, too. He does all the eBay stuff. There's 8 out of 25, Sandro Fabian for the Giants. Orange paper. Sandro Fabian. Someone just stole your car. What? Oh, no. It's just the same one. About to run to my car. What was going on here? Stop. What is he doing? He's back into my car. Oh, okay, stop. Seem awfully. Going well, yeah, on. Bulls won it, but well, kind of then fast. after that, the the Warriors then broke broke the record. Maybe they didn't. I thought the Warriors had seventy three and nine. I think they did. Yeah. They broke the Bulls record. Did they break it that year? Mm -hmm. See, so yeah, I guess the Bulls were, were. But then, yeah, then after that. Yeah, basically, unless you're Michael Jordan. Yeah. Having the best record. There's will, Arias, will be a, number to 499. Padres, Refractor Auto. That is Mark. Padres on the board again. Now we couldn't watch the final game of that series. Probably the best series of all time. Stuck on a plane. 
Oh, I remember that. Where were we? Where were we coming back from the national? Houston. Oh, Houston. 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 And we're just desperately trying to get like the crappy and every airplane single, internet. And every single guy on the plane too. Yeah. Trying to get it. <laughs> And was then that, every, was that game seven? Yeah, it was game seven. It was like Man. the legendary game seven. I remember that. Like the Isn't greatest it? game of right. all time. And we saw like one quarter in the airport trying to get the rest. No, the game started when we were on the plane, I think. No, I think we saw the first quarter. And then, oh. but the fourth quarter, like the last two minutes was the, right. the great part. We were on the plane. So, some guy like had it on his phone for like half yeah, a second. Yeah, everyone was asking, hey, what, 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 uh, what's the score? What's the score? That's the worst. That is the worst. If you don't put TVs on your planes, you deserve to get. No, I'm not gonna say it, but you, <laughs> your company deserves to go bankrupt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, here's the back of a card. Yeah, you can. It does kind of look a little different, but. So yeah, you have the photo kind of blended with the side there, but. You can see the centering on the back. All right, Dave needs some Tigers. We had a few teams double up so far in this one. Oh, the Orioles had a couple hits, the Padres, Giants, so Get some hitless teams on here. And then every other NBA final since then has been like a sweep, blowout. It's ridiculous. Although this year I get the feeling, I think I actually think I think Houston will beat Golden State next round. I think so. Yeah. I think they do it this I year. I just want to see seven games with Patrick Beverly getting into Katie's head. Yeah, I like Patrick Beverly. <laughs> see, like, I would, if I was an NBA GM, I'd have Matthew Delvadova on my team. I'd have. Just for that, just for playoffs. I'd have Tony Allen on my team, and then I'd have Patrick Beverly. It'd be a defensive struggle. Hunter Green to 499. And, and Katie gets shook, too. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. And he, so does uh, Draymond. Yeah. And so, they both like, get big time triggered. Huge. And, and I don't know. Just Katie just falls for it. Patrick so. Beverly gets into people's heads. That's every... I don't think any player is immune to that. Lance Stevenson, he'd be a good one, too. Yeah, that, that would be good. Although I feel like Lance Stevenson, they just like think he's trolling, so they laugh. Patrick Beverly, he'll get in a fight with you. But I could also see the Warriors blown by everybody, even without Demarcus Cousins. They don't need Demarcus Cousins. I think I think just, like him on like the court, a, they were still like negative efficiency or something. Like it was even a on cherry top. on top. It was like a second cherry on top. Yeah. They could they could still win with Clay and Steph. Yeah, just that team right there and Draymond. They don't even need KD. No, they don't need Durant either. But I don't think I think Clay will sign there next year. I think Durant and and Demarcus Cousins might be. Durant's gone. gone. Although I could see him playing a year in the new stadium and then and then. Oh yeah, there is a new stadium. Too. I forgot about that. And then going, I think he I think he'll retire maybe with like Seattle. They'll they'll make a. They'll bring back the Sonics and he'll go there. Send the Clippers to uh, Seattle. Yeah, Gilamaya. Clippers are better than Lakers. You can't try. What? You can't talk trash about the 
Clippers. No one cares about the Clippers. Right, but it'd be like the Rams if they're last place and the Chargers are doing well. <laughs> they, have to, they are, actually. Clippers have been the better team for, what, almost a decade now. There is a sports arena there. I guess not a decade because the Lakers won. But for almost eight years now, they've been the better team. Even the Clippers radio station talks about Lakers more than Clippers. They talked about the Clippers when like they had the big three, but yeah, not anymore really. They do nothing with them. They're and Blake's injured again. For Detroit. So, yeah, so Pistons getting a taste of what Clippers fans had to go through for years, <laughs> just Chris Paul and Blake Griffin being injured at key moments in the playoffs. There's Whatever. Taylor Widener, number four ninety nine, Refractor Auto. What's up, Jim? Yes, this is uh, PYT one, correct. Um, and I'll upload the video once we finish this, and I'll also upload the spot random Blue Jays, and I'll upload the recap video, all three. Is it? A, yeah, I think it's. Yeah, that the new uh, new Warriors stadium looks pretty cool. Yeah, closer to to San Francisco, right? Yeah. Poor Oakland. They're just going to have the, the Oakland A's now. A team that is good, but they never spend any money on their team. There's Genesis Cabrera for the in, or for the Cardinals. There's Graterol, number 125, for the Twins. Base. All right. Find a box. Good luck, everybody. Scared again in the break site. Joe doesn't give any good hits for me on his Tuesday. Why don't you just say on Wednesday? <laughs> on Wednesday, you don't get any good hits? But what if Joe oh. starts... So if Joe starts on, let's say, Joe's Monday is Sunday. What if his, his second day was Monday? Would you get good hits? I know. You got some, some, a uh, scouting but, department. Yeah, base, like baseball teams on Mondays don't do, don't win. That's right. Tonight is the night. I was just talking about earlier. I dreamt, uh, a couple years ago. I dreamt of pulling the Carlos Brown Super Factor the night before it happened. And then I pulled it. So. What did you dream about this year? I didn't dream anything this year. I think I have to take some uh, Japanese stuff. That's happening again. Japanese. Uh... <laughs> no, right. You're in, you're in Japan breaking. Though. Yeah. I'll manifest uh, another hit. Another super factor. All right. 
We got a purple Tristan McKenzie, number 250, Cleveland. There's Hunter Green. Joe dreamt his car would get hit in the parking lot. I know, it almost happened. What happened in the parking lot? No, Darren says you dreamt uh, that your car was going to get hit in the parking lot, and then it almost did just happen. It happened. almost did just happen, Darren, this is for sure. What, was a kid driving it? I don't know. Like a little kid from that place next door? Could be a little kid from the place next One door. One time I was playing, there's, ooh, there's a Brewer Hicklin autograph for the Royals. I think that's the third auto for Stacy. Uh, I'll just be pack stacking for him, Ryan. So I'll open up all the packs for the next few hours, and then Joe will just show, be showing off the card. So it should shave off probably 30 minutes on each uh, video. So be good. Um, there's this field I used to play at. It was called Firehouse Field. So you had the firehouse on the top of the hill. And then the baseball field was like lower down this hill. Oh, nice. And one time these little girls were in like their mom's car. The one Whoa. was sitting in the driver's seat. It's and everyone, so like on the hill, it's like spring training Arizona. Everyone sits like picnics. They put the car into drive and that car went straight down. Did it hit anybody? I don't think, I don't think it hit anybody, but it was like right during the game. Did it go into the baseball field? Almost, but it hit a cage. It hit the like oh. opponent's dugout. Oh, it was just it was just a, quite a sight to see. That must be terrifying. <laughs> oh man. There is Michelle Baez at 299. That's definitely one of those like no 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 yeah, no no, yeah, no yeah, yeah. moments. And I mean it wasn't like uh, a smart car, it was like an escalade. I mean it was a big heavy car. Oh, that's terrifying. It was crazy. So, lesson, don't leave your kids in the car with the keys turned on. All right, there's a Gratero to 150, Twins. Tesla. I know, it feels like nowadays, Tesla, it's probably smart enough to, like, stop or something. Hit the brakes. All right, so hit the autograph in this box. Still looking maybe for an... Non autographed color hit from here. Unless the Tesla AI wanted to kill people. Yeah. Kill all humans. It didn't kill Teslas who didn't have the Tesla. Yeah, I think we'd have to sell a lot more Bowman for a uh, Tesla, even. I feel like I feel like share. that's Elon Musk's master plan. Is that he'll never die, he'll just upload himself into Teslas and he'll just kill all humans and rule the world. You think so? Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. Jordan it'll, Adams? It'll be like the... Yeah, it's, 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 but it'll just be like like the singularity. He's going to download all of his memories into the cloud. I think Tesla he'll cloud. do something like, you know, Back to the Future 2, Biff? I think oh, he'll yeah. do something like that. Just he's, like... He's, All right, that's the break. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. That was Bowman Hobby, full case, PYT1. Oh, yeah.